very sedate, isn't it? It's uh, very sedate. We've only got about eight knots of wind on a broad reach. We've just the dinner out and we're doing four and a half knots. That's what comes of a clean bottom. Yes. And we're going in the right direction at the moment. And we should be there in about half an hour. Where are we going? Uh, we're on our way to um, yeah, Somewhere. a bay that actually is called Paradise Bay. <laughs> Not another one. Another one. I actually don't know the proper name of it, but it's about two hours away, around the headland. Um, so it should be a nice sail. We've got 14 to 15 knots of wind. And uh, unfortunately we're having to tack. But So yeah, Definitely. so we should be there in a couple of hours, depending on this tacking lot. Um, um, depends on the wind as well, because it could change. Just in our first tack, we have got something like just over half of the main out and probably two thirds of the Genoa. And we've just hit 6.7. 6.6, 6 yeah. Yeah. 16 knots of wind. Yeah. So we just landed in um, a place, a bay called Idenes Koyu. Um, Commonly known as Paradise Bay, or one of the Paradise Bays. There um, are a few. Yeah, just had a fantastic sail. Um, sailed virtually all the way. Yeah, it was really good. Um, the wind was everywhere, wasn't it? Between 9 and 19 knots of wind. So. Yeah, we started out with about 19, 20. Then it calmed off to about 8. And then as we're all coming in here, it's it's back up to 13, 14 knots. But the bay is really calm, it's apart from the wind. Where are you going? We're going to go and put the... Um, the painter on today, uh, the bridle, because we took it off over the winter and uh, it's time it went back on because we're going to be towing the dinghy quite a long way. Didn't we? We'll point it that way then. Can you roll the other way? Doing a good job. Why aren't you um, using the engine? I serviced it. Don't work. Why not? Well, it does work. You started it. It's just that it doesn't sit on idle. So. Well, the reason that I serviced it was because we were, we, we couldn't idle it. Um, so I thought the idle jet was blocked. So I took the carburetor apart and cleaned it all out. Put it back together again. It's still the same. So glad I mean good, is it? Uh, there we go. I don't know, that one, it's nearer. That's not a shoreline, is it? It's rocks. No, that's a shoreline. It's right. That is a lot of rubbish. A heck of a lot of rubbish. Which is a shame, because it could be a nice beach. It's quite sandy. I mean, there are a lot of rocks. Yeah, it's a very it's rocky. To the urchins down there. So we've moored the boat to a couple of rocks so they don't catch on the urchins. <laughs> Kestrel's out there. The fisherman there completely ignored us as we came past, so we didn't ask him if he got any fish, which we probably would have done if he did have acknowledged us, but he didn't.
so we recently bought some fender covers. Got them at a really good price, didn't we? Yeah, they were actually, yeah, really good. And we decided that we'd wait until we got into this bay before we put them on. So look at that. How I dirty know. do they get? They've got neighbours. Hey, the wind's picked up. I'm going to put some more chain out later. We've got about 35 metres out at the moment, but I'm going to put something like 45 to 50 out because we're going to get 30 knots of wind coming through. So this is what happens when boat jobs happen. The tables and bits, the husbands and bits, tools everywhere, wires everywhere, wires everywhere, fenders everywhere. This is what you don't normally see. And then if I took you downstairs to our nice tidy salon, you'd think what an absolute bomb site. And that's what happens when you do a boat job. So it's not all plain sailing and lying in the sun and drinking cocktails and stuff. It's all about cleaning up and tidying up and putting everything back together again. So yeah, this is a day in a bay. <laughs> now we're having some good fun because we're getting jobs done, which is really good. So Kevin's part way through. It's about to drill three bloody great holes in the nav pod. Just there. Which is quite scary. Well, I did change your mind three times. Maybe four. About which bit? About putting them there. I know, it's quite a worrying thing to drill into something and make blooming great holes, but... It will make life a lot easier. It will. We need, we need chargers and cables and things plugged in. So yeah. And lights. We've yeah. got rain today. So we're doing a few boat jobs and as you can see inside looks the usual mess. As soon as you do a boat job the whole place just falls apart. Um, oh, we've got bread in here. Undergo, I'm not allowed to take the lid off so I won't show you it yet. But there's bread in there making. Um, Kevin's decided like a Muppet, <laughs> to take the cover off the wheel and give it a good scrub and see how we get on because it was a bit tatty, wasn't it, the leather? Well, it was going mouldy, so it yeah. was about time it came off and we couldn't decide whether to put a new one on. So I thought, well, if we take the old one off and see what the chrome's like, yeah, it might just be okay as it is. The chrome looks okay, actually, but we might cover it again, we'll see. But the leather we took off, as you can probably see down there, is a bit scrappy. Yeah, it's so, horrible. Yeah, it looks a mess. Look really old and tatty. I've scrubbed all the deck, all the way down the sides. Scrubbed the woodwork. Looks blooming marvellous. And the rain hopefully will just wash off all the excess rubbish. Look, you're rowing, all right? <laughs> Today is a day for going ashore. To the other beach. Are you going to hold on to that or what? I'm holding on to it, I'm talking. <laughs> I know, that's why I said, are you going to hold on to that? We're off to the little beach opposite, um, opposite the boat. Everybody's gone home this morning, so we're on our own. <laughs> We've gone back to being very quiet, very calm. The loud singing has gone. Very peaceful. You're getting in or what? Yeah. Come on, you can do this. Yeah, no. Take your time. Got all day. Oh yeah, we have got all day actually, because we're not doing anything else really. You're brave. Mush. that way. Yeah. At least it's not breezy. No. Nope. This dinghy actually came with a seat. But we've tried it in all sorts of positions and in no position does it actually work right for rowing. So you haven't got enough room for your knees while you're rowing because of the handle position. There on the left. Yeah. A bit left, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's a fun little shed, isn't it? It is. 
over it the wasn't, weekend. It was inhabited over the weekend, wasn't it? I was it? going to say over the weekend, there were six guys living kind of around it. There were a couple of tents, a couple in the shed, a couple on a yacht, and it just looked really bizarre. But they actually seemed to have a fun time. <laughs> Little fly. Lots of music on. I know there's loads of them. Lots of music on, and yeah, don't mind me. I'm just. <laughs> no, I think we must move. Lots of flies. Yeah, so this looks like a weekend shack now, where they come and do their fishing or messing on the beach. They clearly don't uh, don't bother what it looks like. What are you doing? I've seen a big fish. <laughs> the elusive big fish. There are no big fish. Yeah, Called the water. Urchins, water is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, you look gorgeous. We've been on a diet since the end of lockdown, which was um, over a week ago now. This is before. <laughs> this is now. Right, okay. Yeah, it's been nearly, well, it's actually two weeks today, Monday. Um, there's another bay next to us, I think, so I'm just going to have a look in there. It's a nice little bay, but I don't think it's big enough for the boat, is it? Oh, don't know. get one in there, maybe. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed, well why not do it now? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.